about the first 12 months of the baby's life it's very very important because babies are very fragile some of the babies are on less weight some babies are premature so when we talk about the first 12 months uh, a very important lot of disease burden is there the immunity of the um, uh, child or newborn is less or the infant is less uh, and uh, we have to comfort them the immunity by providing the various uh, vac uh, vaccinations so we provide various vaccinations now the vaccinations which we provide also differ from country to country their endemicity uh, of the uh, disease burden per se and on the basis of that the different countries have their own immunization programs so in india we have an immunization program for 12 less than 12 months where we give the vaccinations at the time of birth at birth we give the bcg vaccination which is a tuberculosis vaccination which prevents secondary tuberculosis followed by that we give the hepatitis b vaccination which is a very important uh, game changer since the year 2000, 1995 and onwards so since the vaccination came into the picture and a huge burden of the hepatitis b or the chronic liver disease has reduced after this vaccination so a hepatitis b vaccination we give and we try to give it bef uh, within 24 hours after the birth and the third vaccination we give is oral polio vaccination then the at 6 month 6 weeks 10 weeks and 14 weeks we uh, do the immunization again here we do a, a lot of number of vaccinations which includes like diphtheria pertussis tetanus polio again which is mostly given in the injectable form it can be given in the oral form also and then we have hemophilus influenza b vaccination and pneumococcal conjugate vaccination again hepatitis b vaccination and rotavirus vaccination so there are kind of actually eight vaccinations which we give at 6 10 and 14 weeks for the proper unif uniformity and for the ease with which this can be given and there should not be any much confusion uh, over a long period of time with the revised uh, committee meetings and with a lot of uh, experts sitting together they have come to a conclusion that 6 10 and 14 weeks vaccinations are mainly given on nearly the same and many times the combination vaccinations are uh, done which i think will be discussed later in the session yes. so so that it is easy for the babies to take it and they get prevented against mostly eight diseases per se then we do a vaccination at 6 months and 7 months which is a flu vaccination flu has uh, been really a, uh, again a very important vaccination over a period of time since the time uh, we have seen the uh, epidemic of uh, swine flu in uh, year 2009 2010 in pune and maharashtra and many other places and uh, many other flu problems or the exaggerate uh, or the increase of uh, allergic problems in the country because of the pollution and other things so how the flu vaccination helps uh, and again after the covid again it has proved that the flu vaccination really helps uh, so 6 and 7 months we do the flu vaccinations followed by that we also do a typhoid vaccination or 6 or 7 month depending on the uh, comfortability of the practitioner 9 months we do an, another vaccination which is an mmr vaccination measles mumps and rubella vaccination which provide immunity against the measles mumps and rubella three important uh, highly communicable diseases and uh, also along with that we do a oral polio vaccination or sometimes uh, we can't if we don't do it also it's okay again there is a change in the uh, 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 guidelines by the uh, um, uh, government of india immunization program and indian academy of pediatrics immunization program then we do a 12 month vaccination which is uh, uh, again a vaccination of uh, hepatitis a and uh, uh, depending uh, now there again we have two more vaccination called as meningococcal vaccination and japanese encephalitis vaccinations which are between which are done between 9 to 12 months of age again depending on the endemicity of the problem uh, these are optional vaccinations and uh, uh, overall uh, as we talk about the japanese encephalitis the who recommends that the japanese encephalitis is quite prevalent in overall india and we should take the japanese encephalitis vaccination and uh, uh, and meningococcal vaccination is another optional vaccination we give to the children now when we talk about these vaccination these vaccinations are over a long period of time equally spaced over a uh, gradual Uh, equally spaced uh, over a one year because first of all we uh, give a lot of them first because we have to uh, provide immunity to the baby uh, repeated vaccinations of the same vac of the same diseases also cause a proper immune response otherwise a proper immune response is not elicited that's why we do it repeatedly and also it gives us an opportunity as a pediatrician or as a healthcare provider to check the babies in their infantile age uh, properly how is the growth happening how is the development happening for the baby which is again a part of the immunization 
So uh, these are the number of the vaccinations we do over a period of one year. 